M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Uniden SDS200 have now released the waterfall firmware after many years of promising this, so excellent news on the 21st of the 12th, 2023. If we look at the information here, it says 1.23.01 main and sub released on the 12th month, 21, 2023. You do need to have the latest version of Sentinel, which I just downloaded. So we're gonna open that up. Let's have a quick look at the manual here that they're showing. It says here, starting waterfall, press the menu button and use the knob to scroll backwards. And this is the kind of display we're going to get. So nice looking waterfall. Let's see if I can make that a bit bigger. No, that's okay. We can, oh, there it is there. Can, uh, I was going to say we can wait, but no, FTD display waterfall. So let's give this a go. We've got our Uniden connected at the moment. So we'll fire up our Sentinel software. We have it here. Just waiting for that to boot up. There it is. Move it to the left so you can still see my, my radio. Let's plug the cable into my SDS 200, like so. We'll get the E, then we'll press Enter. And then we'll we'll read from the scanner first. Read from scanner. Click OK, click yes to that. I'm just clicking OK to everything on that at the moment. Let's see if it gives us the option to update or we have to select it. So we've read, now we're gonna click update firmware. Click OK. We'll let it do its thing. Really we should have, right, it says it's the current firmware. So let's see if we can just check that this is the best Sentinel. So it does say this is the right version, version 2.05, revision 3. I'm just going to work out why it's not letting me update. Oh, I see. You've got to purchase the, uh, the upgrade. So let's have a look. To look up what version of firmware you've already got, just go back out completely. Go menu. Turn the key backwards to settings, press it, then backwards again to C scanner info, then firmware version. And I'm showing 122.01. I'm now telling it to download an update from the Uniden server. I'm going to re resend that to my SDS 200 because it's not actually showing that I've got the latest firmware. Okay, well, I can't see that I can get it in the UK, so I'm just going to go quickly go through the document, put the links in and take it from there. And I have found the link where you can, where you would normally register and, and uh, pay for it, I suppose. Been looking around, just can't find it. So to start the waterfall, press menu and use the knob to scroll backwards to select waterfall, press E. And then we'll scroll down, start waterfall, current settings, a default band and settings that you can define. Understanding the display, yeah, quite straightforward because it could be for the USA model first. But when I try and load the using Sentinel, it's just saying to me, you know, you click the update, then update firmware. It's just saying to me, it does the firmware, you've got the latest version, so it's not changing the version number on my, on my device at all, it's not doing anything to my device. So the area above the FFTV, FFT graph displays the following information. And then just read through, I'll put the link in. It's basically a waterfall and it's nice to have it. Scrolling down now, if someone can message me, because I can't even see where I can buy a key um, at the moment. I think it's $20. 
Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I'm sure it'll all get sorted eventually. 7-3, all the best.